I saw a picture online for a uh, somebody had created a little docking station for their phone out of Legos, and uh, I wanted to create my own. I had some pieces lying around that I had been thinking about incorporating, and uh, with some ingenuity and a lot of frustration, I was able to accomplish uh, what I was wanting to do. Um, I think the main focus of the piece that I was really most proud of was getting this old fiber optic thing to run. Um, and of course, you know, it all requires the 9 volts battery pack, which I essentially hardwired um, with a 200 milliamp 9 volt wall charger. <clears throat> so everything can pretty much run indefinitely. Um, the old motor I had to run the fiber optic uh, mechanism no longer was functioning. So I actually took a PS3 motor uh, from a DualShock controller and wired it up to uh, one of the old the, the Lego bracket there that has the little metal connectors in there. Hot glued it so it would stay in place. Um, had to hot glue a little bit of the old wires. They were kind of fraying and if they touch, you know, it kind of just it stops running. It doesn't short it out or anything. It just it kind of stops the circuit flow. Um, Overall, I'm pretty proud of it. The uh, little drivetrain that I created here uh, to turn the actual fiber optic mechanism took a lot of tweaking. Uh, the little motor from the PS3 controller is pretty low torque, uh, high speed, so it definitely took um, about 10 or 15 different setups before I was finally able to get it to spin freely. Uh, it spins a little faster than I wish it would, but um, overall, uh, I think it's got a pretty cool little effect and uh, cool little place to set my phone when it's charging. So, and this is what it looks like when it runs. than I wish it was, but um, the novelty of it is definitely there, and uh, a little testament to my nerdiness, and I'm proud of it. So, hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope it uh, inspired you to bust out your old Legos and create to your heart's desire.